what's that? He's now? caught your eye, Marcus Jones. He's caught yeah, your eye. Yeah, you know, Marcus is, uh, you know, is a, is a youngster that uh, is small in stature, but has a lot of quickness and speed, and has uh, done some good things. Uh, first of all, coming right out of high school here. And uh, in, in December and graduating early and coming here is quite a transition for a young man. And, uh, you know, coming from North Carolina, but he's uh, really handled it pretty well, um, you know, and uh, he's handled the grind of practice in school to this point. You know, we'll see. We got seven more practices or whatever it is, eight. And uh, we'll see how he continues to deal with the grind. But to this point, he's done a nice job for a, a young freshman. Matt was saying that he's the type of guy that needs to touch the ball even ten times a game. Well, we, he, he, yeah, he's going to have to. Is that uh, you know just with the speed factor, the quickness, and those kind of things, the, the bubble screens, the quick screens, the, you know those kind of plays, the uh, punt returner, and things of that nature. So. Uh, uh, Hopefully that, uh, you know, again, the maturity is, you know, again, we forget he's still, he's, he's not even graduated high school. And some He is, but he isn't, so to speak. So it'll be interesting how he develops through the summer and he gets a little bigger, a little stronger, thicker, and uh, and be able to, you know, to hold up. But I, I, I feel that at this point we've certainly been pleased. Have you seen some noticeable differences overall from practice one until now? now that we're oh, yeah, oh, yeah, there's a lot of noticeable differences. Is that uh, We've taken infant steps, not baby steps, but infant steps. And uh, I think there's been, you know, a lot of a lot of guys have gotten a little better, and I think the I think the defense has gotten better. I've really noticed them taking strides, you know, and uh, uh, we continue to throw a lot of stuff and see how much. Uh, and defensive kids and offensive kids can handle, and they're still thinking a lot and so forth. But I don't mind that because right now we need to throw as much as we can at them, and then they'll have the summer, and then of course we'll have two a day camp, and then they can relearn and so forth. But uh, we're going to keep, you know, trying to get as much stuff in as we can. It's always hard when you go to a new program to figure out who you are and what you are, and hopefully at the end of spring we can kind of, you know, go through. Okay, this is kind of who we're going to be because you know we can't. You can't recruit to what you're going to be right now. We'll do that later on. We've got to take what we have and, and utilize it the best we can. Have you been happy with their, their progress? Yeah, I have been. I think that I think we. I like certainly scheme wise. I like what we're doing, and uh, you know we're still. You know, uh, anytime you work with that, is that uh, you know there's some things you got to adjust. We'll go in and look at things. But yeah, I've been pleased with our scheme and. You know, the, both punters have done a good job of punting the ball for the most part when we haven't had a breakdown in protection or a snap or those kind of things. But uh, we're much farther along in that regards than I thought we were. Same with uh, field goals and things of that nature, protection. And, uh, we're a little farther along than I thought we would be at this time. Um, we talked about Marcus Jones. Um, he he kind of fills the need at receiver that you, you, you probably have. Um, a lot of guys have had much experience besides the John McKnight, um, but they've been making some plays in practice, it seems like, and they're growing, do you think, as the springs? Well, they don't have a lot of choice. There aren't very many of them, so right. they, they, that, that's a plus for some of those kids in mm -hmm. some ways. They, they're getting a lot of reps, so, you know, they're very physically tired because, I mean, we're not slowing down. I said, Coach, are you going to slow down? I said, no. We'll find out who's going to be tough in that group. But it's, it's uh, you know, they've gotten a lot of reps, so they have no choice but to get better. And... Uh, you know, uh, that's, uh, you know, when you take Marquise, you can take him from wide receiver, he goes to quarterback, you know, a couple guys graduate, so forth. That's just a thin, thin group athletic-wise, talent-wise. And, and so the kids that we have, um, you know, we don't have many. And, uh, you know, they've got to do a good job. We're using some tight ends in the passing game to, to help out, and then we've recruited. But, uh, you know, it's uh, I think they're doing the best they can, and that's all we can ask them to do right now. Is it? But it's probably safe to say there's no clear cut. Number two behind Dijon. I mean, there's Dijon, well, and Dijon, there's a lot yeah, of different, yeah, lot of guys. Well, yeah, nobody's had the experience. You can't replace mm -hmm. experience. You know, he's played in games. He's played in front of 100,000 people. So that you know, you know, he's way ahead of everybody else because of his game experience, mm -hmm. and everybody else is learning. But I think they're learning, and you know, as, um, where we're at in practice right now, and the ones that can stay healthy and keep pushing themselves, they'll be okay. Coach, you had Paul Spicer here at practice today. Uh huh. Uh, what are some of the things he's been able to teach the kids and bring to the field? Nothing. He didn't teach them anything. He's he's here visiting me. He, he played for me, and and he's a friend of mine. He's like a son to me, and I've known known Paul for a long time, and he's come up to 
spend some time, and we've we've remained close for I don't know, you know, a lot lot of years. I, you know, I think him, you know, coming out <coughs> to practice and kids, you know, I mean, I'm sure they know, kids know who he is and those kind of things, and you know, he, he may say, hey, coach, you do this and that and so forth. But you know, I Paul Paul's here out of uh, you know friendship and. and uh, you know, and with that. you'll see a lot of people roll through practice. I mean, you've been doing it for 28 years, and there's a lot of people you've coached, from coaches to players and so forth, to come by. And that's the greatest. The greatest thing about coaching is, is that uh, you get a guy like that comes up and sees you, you know, and he's going to get into coaching. You know, he just retired from the National Football League, so you know he's looking to, to get into coaching. I think he's going to do some, you know, the NFL things. I'll put everything on the. On lock there, so he's he's kind of got to wait to see what's going to happen there. But uh, great kid, great 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 young man. That's a pretty good looking Division two football player, you know, from Saginaw Valley State. I, I mean, I I looked at him. I go, shoot, we should want some more games. But he's a pretty good looking kid. A couple more guys. I had the chance to talk to Peter Westerhouse after that incident. And that incident and that was a heck of a story he has to tell. Was it gratifying to see him come out to practice on Saturday and just to see that he's after an incident like that, he's okay? Well, it's just gratifying to know that he's okay. You know, we had some of the coaches here today is that it's just, it, all I care about is him being okay. I mean, that's a, it was a, you know, very, very, um, you know, you get th thank God he's got a big, thick neck and, and a strong kid because that, that would, could have been a, a very, very bad deal. Uh, but, uh, you know, he, he's certainly got some stitches and seen him Saturday, and, and uh, there's going to be some time to recover. I mean, it ain't going to happen overnight, but I'm just glad he's okay. You know, disregard football or anything else, I'm just glad the kid's okay because that could have been a terrible tragedy. Are you guys still staying in contact with him? Yeah, he, you know, he called, he, he's, uh, you know, he's he's uh, came over Saturday. I mean, I haven't talked to him since Saturday, but I, and like I said, his coach is out here today, so we, we, uh, uh, we we know he's doing good, but it'll be you know that's a process that he's got to go through for a while. Anything else? One more, maybe. That's good. All right, man. All right. Thank.